government needs to improve the pace of transformation within the investment management industry in order to attain sustainable economic growth. That's the view expressed by delegates attending the APSIP's 2016 Investment Summit in Rosebank. The financial services sector in South Africa has investment worth 9 trillion rent and yet it is failing to transform. The Association of Black Securities and Investment Professionals, APSEP, is trying to tap into this industry. APSEP wants the wealth of the country to be equally distributed among more South Africans. Uh, there has been progress, but very, very little progress, I must say, both from a gender perspective and both from a transformation perspective, both from moving to a normal society. Unfortunately, the financial services sector, um, it's been very difficult to do that for various reasons. There's been blockages there. Um, there are many gatekeepers in this industry which keep people away from transforming where they're imperative, where they don't realize they're imperative to, to, to transform and to transform to a normal society isn't as important for them because they, they see it as a risk, they see it as, as, as it's being taken away from them. About 40 black-owned companies manage less than 5% of assets in the investment management industry. The private sector has acknowledged that a lot still needs to be done to change the mindset and attract more black people into the industry. Given our history as South Africa, the way that um, decision makers or people who run businesses are socialized uh, has actually, and I want to use a, a strong word, it has damaged them. You know, the, you know the, the notion that if you see a black person, your automatic response to that is that black person is not capable. You know, they only good for being a garden boy or being a maid or being, you know, a, a tea lady and that's the full extent of the capacity of a black individual. It's, it's a completely, obviously, ignorant perspective because there are very talented um, and brainy black people agree that there's a strong resistance from the private sector to accelerate the pace of transformation and they've dismissed the notion that people from previously disadvantaged backgrounds lack the relevant skills to prosper in this industry. Now, Lady Matlabeng, SABC News, Johannesburg.